this video, I'm going to show you one of the newest model homes built by Taylor Morrison that has an incredible view off the back of this home. On the inside of the home, we're over 4,200 square feet. We have five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and this is an open concept two-story plan. Taylor Morrison is calling this the Calypso plan, and I love when you enter the Calypso plan. It's open to the second story here, and like usual, we're gonna go right out to the main living area. We'll get back to this dining room that's at the front of the home. We also have a study and a second bedroom downstairs, but I really want you to see this main living area. Now, throughout the video, we're gonna be covering options that Taylor Morrison is offering currently, like a second kitchen island, an optional generational suite downstairs. And we're also gonna be covering the details that we see in this plan that I think so many buyers like, like this wide open living room with tall ceilings, and of course, this beautiful view right out through these sliding glass doors. Now we'll definitely get out to that patio. I'm gonna show you that view from so many different areas, but I wanna start right here in the kitchen. What I love about this kitchen are gonna be the two-tone kitchen cabinets, the kitchen island color, just a little bit different, like a darker gray color. We have upper cabinets with a glass insert, and I love how they put like a fake plant up there, some vases, just to put in some color in this kitchen on that top row. Now above the five burner gas stove top, I love this kitchen backsplash where they kept the tile very simple, but they put the tile in a herringbone pattern. And I think that along with having a glossy look to it just makes it look fantastic. That is a great tile. Now I have to tell you, I'm mentioning a lot of different design upgrades simply because you can build a lot of these homes from scratch. So later on in the video, I'm gonna show you some lots in this beautiful community called Treviso. We'll also talk about the community and the area that we're in, and I'll give you all the insight that I have. Now I should have mentioned, I am, my name is Raj Sahu. I'm a realtor in Austin, Texas, and I've represented clients with 19 different builders. So I've seen so much new construction. I've had so many buyers build from scratch with many different builders. So I can give you all the pros and all the cons of various builders and really what to look for when you're building these homes from scratch. This is something to definitely look for is a fireplace that doesn't take any windows out of the back wall. I like how it's tucked in in the center here. So you have a beautiful tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And I think it really attracts your eye when you enter this main living area. Your eyes go right through those sliding glass doors to the view. It looks left to the kitchen, right to the fireplace. And in this living room, it is so open. In fact, up there is gonna be a game room, a media room, a few bedrooms upstairs. So there is so much to see in this home. But you have to see this. I love taking a seat in this living room. This is where we spend the bulk of our time for most homeowners. And I love the artwork above the TV. We saw the fireplace already. Take a look at that amazing view outside of these sliding glass doors. And this is what it's all about. I think that's why so many people move to this community called Treviso, because there are fantastic lots that back up to greenery and that give beautiful views. And you can see that right here in the breakfast nook area. Now keep in mind, there is a separate dining area. Again, that's at the front of the home. We'll get back there, but I love this breakfast nook area. Just imagine taking your morning cup of coffee right here at the table. And this is your view out those windows, out your patio, absolutely incredible. And that's exactly what we have to do. We have to get right out to this patio because I need you to see what it's like to experience backing up to greenery and a view. So beautiful. Now, if you love views like what you're seeing here just from the patio, then I got three things to tell you. First off, this community of Treviso is a large master plan community. So they are building right around 3000 homes in this community. And you have very high end premium builders building anywhere from 1500 to 2000 square feet, all the way up to 5000 to 6000 square feet. There are even custom home lots that were purchased that have homes above 6000 square feet. And there are dramatic views, not just on the model home lots. I'll even show you a lot here in a second that's gorgeous, that was recently put up for sale. Second, if you're new to the channel and you're not that familiar with the Austin, Texas metro area, just know there are hills all along the west, northwest, and southwest corridor of the Austin metro area. And so there are so many different suburbs with these rolling hills, dramatic views that are absolutely beautiful. And I think it's so surprising for most people visiting a city in central Texas 
to have this type of topography and greenery and beauty. And Austin definitely has that. And that's why I have to take a seat because I want you to experience this view and imagine this being your patio and every day you can just come out here and take in this view. And that's why I love coming to Treviso. I think it really captures the beauty of the Austin metro area. And the third thing I wanna mention is what I love even more is when people reach out to me and they tell me they love views, they wanna experience it for themselves and to show them lots of where they can build these beautiful homes on. And that's where I show them this. Now I keep talking about all the views that are possible here in Treviso. And I wanna give you an idea of a lot and the view that's off that lot. And that's why I love coming to Treviso because this is what you can get right behind me. Build a plan just like you're seeing on a beautiful lot and capture incredible views. Back to the video. Aside from the beauty that you're seeing here, there's actually so much growth that's happening in the suburb outside of Austin, Texas that we're in, which is called Leander. I'll talk more about that later on in the video. I wanna jump right into the primary bedroom. Now for this primary bedroom, I love the windows that Taylor Morrison is starting to put in. Usually they just had your standard 3060 windows across the home. So it just made it feel kind of more like a production home builder. And even though that's what Taylor Morrison is, production home builder, I like some of these small changes they're making like this big window in the middle. Uh, check with your builder if they're doing that in your community, they are changing that from community to community. So everything that I'm telling you in this plan, obviously double check it with uh, your builder and work with a realtor who knows new construction because they can ask questions that you may not know to ask. So you get everything answered before you actually contract with the builder. By the way, I love this headboard. It's like almost the entire wall <laughs> behind that bed. I uh, just so it provides a design element as well as uh, provides that headboard that I think everybody's looking for behind their bed. Moving on, we are in the primary bathroom. I like this tub and the backsplash that they use. So I think that same backsplash is on the floor in the shower. And I love how it just breaks up these two vanities. So it's nice to have space between both of those vanities. And then here is a look at the walk-in shower where they did a frameless glass enclosure. And then that's the same tile that I think we saw as the backsplash for the tub. I like how they ran the other tile, the wall tile vertically and went all the way up to the ceiling. That has some really good movement in it. So I love when people do that for their tile in their shower, as well as maybe in like a fireplace or something where the tile is going vertically all the way up to the ceiling. And then I love those tiles that have that movement going up and down. So it really draws your eyes all the way up to the top of the ceiling. Now this is gonna be a look at the closet. It's a good size closet. I would say it's fairly typical at this square footage, very long. And while we're in here, I wanted to cover a question that I get asked often, which is how does Taylor Morrison stand out from the other builders that are out there? What's one thing that's different? Now I've had several closings with Taylor Morrison just in the last year, year and a half. And what I've found is different at this lot size is Taylor Morrison has many popular plans. So to give you an idea, uh, the Calypso plan can be built on a 70 foot wide or 80 foot wide lot right now in this community. And at that lot size, Taylor Morrison has several plans that are popular. Uh, whereas with other builders, you'll have a, a batch of 20 lots that are all, let's say 70 foot wide lots. And every single home is two floor plans. And that can be sometimes annoying when every one of your neighbors or at least 50% of your neighbors have the same exact plan that you have and the other 50% have the other plan that everybody buys. And that can be, again, a little bit repetitive and maybe feel a little bit more of like a cookie cutter neighborhood. And I don't think you see that issue with Taylor Morrison. Now, by the way, this is a pantry that's right behind the kitchen. Apologies, I did miss going to that after I left the kitchen. I think I was really excited to get outside and, and also to that living room that opens up really well. And then behind this pantry is the utility room. They did do some upgrades because that's what they do in model homes. Builders tend to over upgrade uh, beyond what your average homeowner does in this community. But that's fairly typical. And it's just to kind of showcase what's possible with the builder. Now, this is going to be access to a three car tandem garage. That's why they have a mud bench here. And that would just be a coat closet on the right side. Now we're going to go to the dining room next and stick with me. There's still a lot to see in this home. So many great things. Like I love the windows in the study. They have a second bedroom downstairs that can actually be turned into a suite. We didn't mention it, but there is an optional second kitchen island, which would be right in front of that kitchen island. 
I think I've seen that under construction and I got to look at the dimensions again. I, I think at the time it felt tight, but there was no countertop on those cabinets. And that's often my life is walking homes that are under construction, but uh, we could definitely get dimensions for that and double check how tight that second kitchen island would be. What's definitely open is this dining area. This is an eight seater table. I love that light fixture that unfortunately I couldn't get on, but it does still look very cool. I love this accent wall on this side and I didn't want to miss it. There is an area for a butler's pantry right here. Now, like I mentioned in the kitchen, I love the upper cabinets that they have in here. I don't think you need to do a glass insert for your butler's pantry, although you could, uh, but I love that they put those upper cabinets in there. I think it just completes that look for the cabinets. Now, I didn't want to miss that butler's pantry. I also didn't want to miss the powder bathroom. So there is a powder bathroom right here. Fantastic location right off of that main living area or between the living room and the front door. I've been seeing wallpaper in almost every powder bathroom uh, for all the new model homes. And what's funny is I came home once and my wife was putting in wallpaper in our powder bathroom. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe there's quite the trend going on here, but uh, I'm on board. I like it. Let me know what you think about that wallpaper in the comments. And what I want to show you here next is actually the elevation just outside the front door is so high up. And I think Taylor Morrison does that really well in some of their plans. Like the Laramar plan is very popular with that. Uh, the Catalina is one of their most popular plans because it has that epic elevation that I think just gives you that curb appeal that so many buyers want. This is also what so many buyers want, a big study that has fantastic windows. I think when you're on a cul-de-sac like this lot, just imagine having your desk here and this is your view from your desk. I could work from home here all day long. And one thing to keep in mind is the elevation, which is the exterior aesthetic of the home. I will tell you what materials are going to be used, like stone, stucco, brick, hardy board. Uh, it's going to show you the locations of that. It can also change windows on the front of the home. So I'm looking at Taylor Morrison's website right now, and they actually have an elevation where the windows become less wide. And I think I'd really prefer that natural light coming in. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, this is gonna be the second bedroom downstairs. It's just the right of the stairwell. It's got some good windows looking off the side of the home, and it does have an in-suite full bathroom. Now the community that we're building this plan in, the Calypso plan, Right now, at the time I'm posting this video, they are including this as a standard in the plan. What I mean by that is you don't have to upgrade this space to get this second bedroom downstairs. Now, I want to add two things to that while we head upstairs next. And I can't wait for you to see that game room, media room combination, how open this home feels when you get to the second floor. But two things I want to mention there. Uh, first off, there is an option for this area to become a multi-generational suite. Now that keeps this bedroom, but it puts an in-suite full bathroom at the top of the room instead of the bottom. And it would actually have two sinks, at least that's what they're currently offering. But that would turn the study into a sitting room. Now, I don't know if you'd want to do that just because a study in this community especially is very useful. There's a lot of people willing to live this far out of Austin, Texas because they work from home or they're on a hybrid model and they only go to the office maybe two to three days a week. So I would definitely keep that study. But if you really have to have, you know, a suite for maybe, you know, parents staying with you for months at a time, you want them to have their own private space, then I would look into that generational suite. And it will make more sense if I'm sharing my screen showing you what that option looks like on a 2D floor plan. The second thing I'll mention while we go to this bedroom that's to the right of the stairwell is that for that bedroom downstairs, why I say it's currently included as a standard is there are other floor plans where to get a second bedroom and full bathroom downstairs, you have to upgrade the third car tandem garage space. And the problem with that is you lose the garage space, then you're down to a two car garage on a around a 4,000 square foot home. I think that's a tough proposition. Uh, and I, I don't think you should do without that second bedroom downstairs. By the way, there's some great views on this lot. So we're gonna take a look at that all throughout this second floor. But getting back to the point, that's why I love this plan. You have that second bedroom downstairs with a full bathroom. You still currently have that three car tandem garage space. And so you don't have to do compromises on the first floor. 
Now, if you want to add another bedroom bathroom to the second floor, that's the bedroom and bathroom that we're in right now. So what they're currently doing is uh, it's a four bedroom home, but if you want to add a fifth bedroom and another full bathroom, you can do that to the right of the stairwell, which again is what we're in right now. So this is one of the op options that they offer on the second floor. When I keep saying currently, it's because they do change these plans over time. So everybody's gonna be seeing this video in the future. You definitely wanna double check these things. And again, you know, work with a uh, realtor that can help guide you through what builders are best and what options are best when you're looking at resale as well as, well as what makes sense for you. Now this is going to be that game room that I've continued to tell you about because I love the view from here. Anytime my camera can't expose properly for windows, that's a good thing. That means so much natural lights coming in, but you just have to take a look at this view. Imagine sitting on your couch in your game room and you're open to the living room that's there on the right side. You have all those beautiful windows in the living room that were the trends and windows that are now at your eye level that you can see out. And from the position that we're in, you can actually see the front door and how open that area is, which was also open to the second story. And of course, as I look down, this was the living room that we were in previously. And this is why I love open concept homes that have a lot of rooms that give you privacy, but still feel open concept with these tall ceilings, windows looking out to views, big patios, big backyards. It's just, this is a great home that I think has the combination of what so many buyers want. Now, what a lot of buyers want too is a media room. <laughs> and the media room is tucked in in the back of the corner of the home, which I think is a great area, considering that a lot of people use this as a movie theater room. And I know it doesn't necessarily look the part. This is actually a model home that just finished. So I think they're gonna put a TV up there, <laughs> uh, but they maybe didn't get one of those fake TVs yet. But I love this couch. I mean, look at how large this couch is. And when you don't have windows in a room, you can put this right up against the wall and it really does give you a great deal of space in here. Okay, we're gonna go to one of the bedrooms and then walk through the Jack and Jill full bathroom into the other bedroom. And some of these spare bedrooms upstairs have incredible views, so stick around for this. Now, while we go through these bedrooms, I wanted to talk about the area that we're in, which is called Leander, Texas. Now, this is something I dive into in detail with all my clients who reach out to me and hire me as a realtor, but I'll give you a glimpse of what that looks like. When you draw out the growth patterns of the Austin metro area, there is a strong pattern along the Northwest corridor. And that's not me as a realtor saying that. That's me telling you that there are billion dollar developments where these billion dollar developers that do so much market research, they are betting all along the North and Northwest side of the Austin metro area. And right along the Northwest side of the Austin metro area, there's a suburb called Cedar Park. And then northwest of that, it's Leander, where we're in right now. And then northwest of that is Liberty Hill. Now, what happened is very simple. Cedar Park has been built out for so many years. So there wasn't a whole lot of land going into the pandemic. And any new construction that existed in Cedar Park sold out pretty quickly during the pandemic. Well, now that's happening in Leander, especially in the center parts of Leander that are closer to the highway like 183, as well as close to the big developments that are coming to Leander. And so the growth in Leander now is on the outskirts of this suburb. And it, most of it's actually gone to Liberty Hill, which Liberty Hill is like the new Leander where it has nothing but land. And the growth along that 183 highway is is pretty apparent. Uh, I think a lot of builders right now are, are jockeying for their position to buy up land in Liberty Hill. So my point in sharing that with you is so many people look at the short term in buying. Should I buy now or should I buy three months from now or buy a year from now? And they're trying to make that decision based on interest rates and is this country going to go to war with this country? And is that going to affect gas prices? And is that going to affect builder material costs? And it's 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 all these short-term variables that nobody has control over, and they can never accurately predict these types of things. And while we look out at this view to this cul-de-sac off the front of this home, what I want you to start focusing in on is the long-term growth in these areas. Because I got to tell you, Treviso is on the outskirts of Leander. But name another community like this that has incredible views that is closer in in this suburb. 
and you won't be able to answer that question. So when there's growth that happens west of here, that's even further and further out, that's gonna increase the appeal of Treviso because people will say, well, I can get views in Treviso and be closer in. And so this is just an example of the long-term mindset I would have when asking yourself, what community should I buy in? So if you need help with that, reach out to me. My number's at the bottom of the description of this video. And I also wanna just go right back to the elevation that I was telling you about, which is that front exterior of this Calypso plan. Check this out. Now, I wanted to hear from you in the comments. What did you think about the Calypso plan with Taylor Morrison? Now, if you wanted the price of this home or more information about the lot, click on the link in the pinned comments of this video. And then if you can't get enough of these model home tours, click on the thumbnail on the right side of your screen. And if you wanna see a home for sale by Taylor Morrison, click on the thumbnail on the left side of your screen. As always, hope this helps. Take care, everyone.